Hello, my name is uh, JT Janssen. I'm from the National Physical Laboratory in Teddington, and I'd like to present a uh, video abstract about a paper which we're about to publish in New Journal of Physics on graphene, uh, universality test of the quantum Hall effect, and the new SI system. Uh, this work I'm presenting here is a collaboration between uh, our own lab, um, Chalmers University, and Linköping University in Sweden, Lancaster University and the uh, BIPM in Paris. The best way to introduce this work is to start with the end of the title, um, the new SI system. At the moment there are seven SI base units in the SI system and the system has continuously evolved as measurements get more precise and new physics is discovered. And At the moment there is a large international effort going on in trying to redefine the SI units in terms of fundamental constants of nature. We believe these fundamental constants of nature are invariant and the same anywhere in the universe. And so they are an ideal system to base uh, a new SI system upon. The unit to be redefined next is the unit of mass, the kilogram, and the unit of electrical current, the ampere. And the proposal is to redefine uh, the kilogram in terms of Planck's constant, H, and to redefine the ampere in terms of the electron charge, E. Now, if we want to redefine the SI system in this way, we have to make sure that our understanding of the fundamental constants is as complete as possible. We want to well be in a situation in a few years' time where we find that we've taken the wrong value for H and E and find that we do have to change the SI system yet again. So this is where the second part of the title comes in, universality of the quantum Hall effect. Uh, the quantum Hall effect is one of the most fundamental uh, effects in solid-state physics. And it occurs when a two-dimensional metal is exposed to a perpendicular magnetic field uh, at very low temperatures. Uh, a two-dimensional metal is a bit like uh, uh, a metal where the electrons can only move in two directions, a bit like the, the balls on a, on a pool table. Now, under these extreme conditions of magnetic field and uh, temperature, something unusual happens to the resistance of this material. It becomes independent of the size of the metal and the, the material which uh, the metal is made of and only dependent on the ratio of Planck's constant and the electron charge squared. And so this is an ideal way to link our fundamental constants to a measurable quantity, electrical resistance in this case. Now conventionally uh, the quantum Hall effect has been observed in semiconductors like gallium arsenide and silicon. So the quantum Hall effect is a key experiment which links fundamental constants uh, to, to units. Now there is no theory which says that the quantum Hall resistance is exactly the ratio of Planck's constant to the electron charge squared. We think it is but the only way to test this is to do experiments and to see whether the quantum Hall effect is the same in different materials. And so what we're doing is testing the universality of this uh, quantum Hall resistance. This is where the first part of the title comes in, graphene. Graphene is a newly discovered material and it's a single layer of carbon atoms in a honeycomb lattice. It's only one atom thick. It was discovered in 2004 by two researchers at Manchester University and last year they received the Nobel Prize for Physics for this discovery. Now this material graphene, because it's only one atom thick, is a true two-dimensional metal and it's got very unusual properties. One of the first things to be discovered in graphene was the quantum Hall effect. And because of its unusual electronic structure, the quantum Hall effect manifests itself in a slightly different way than in the traditional semiconductor systems. However, it's still related to Planck's constant and the electron charge. And so using graphene gives us an ideal way of testing the universality of the quantum Hall effect between very different systems. And this is exactly what we've done in our, uh, in our work. We've made a direct comparison of the quantum Hall resistance in gallium arsenide with the quantum Hall resistance in graphene and showed that these two resistances are the same to within 8.7 parts in 10 to the 11. That's the most accurate comparison of the uh, quantum Hall effect to date and it demonstrates that this effect is truly universal and therefore 
forms an, a good basis of redefining the SI units on Planck's constant and the electron charge.